Hey, check it out. We're doing some beat open today. Uh, we got pit stops. We got a setup. <laughs> a setup uh, that right now has got way too much tape because I'm about to do qualifying. So, uh, hey, remind me to change it back to 65% for me <laughs> so I don't forget and blow my engine on the race. But, uh, yeah, should be some fun. New Phoenix. Um, my first uh, race in the Xfinity cars was actually a fixed race, and that's the one where uh, my internet cut out when I was in 8th place near the end of the race, and that was super disappointing. So, I figured I'd uh, keep it interesting, and this time do an open race. And uh, hopefully the internet will hang in there this time. Gotten a little bit of experience at New Phoenix now. Starting to feel a little bit better about it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Pretty happy with that lap overall. It'd be cool to get a 26. That's uh, As you saw, it was my best time so far. I don't know what I'm doing this lap. <laughs> I don't think this was ever going to be better than the first one, but kind of took that corner weird for no reason. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it'd be cool to get a 26. Really close, but uh, not quite. Almost feels like uh, I think we got more grip right now than we did in the practice session, so that's probably why I was able to put a faster lap down. Maybe you should have pushed it a little bit more. It's uh, cooler temperatures, maybe a little bit more grip. Those guys got 26s. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> But uh, we got our crew chief helping us out today with our fuel and all that. Um, should be a halfway decent start. Start position. We're number four car. All feeling pretty good. Just gotta remove this tape because I can see those temperatures climbing. So let me not uh, kill it here. It wouldn't kill it for the race or anything. But, uh, still don't want to mess around with that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'll be, I'll be sure to change that tape back to 65. Because you don't want to forget that. Put it at 90. Because I didn't do any practice. I didn't know if like 100% was going to blow up too quick or something. So, I just went 90. I figured that was safe. And, uh, should give me that tiny bit of extra boost. Perhaps. But, uh, just got a, uh, set up, a free setup from Old School Racing Forums. I think I mentioned that. Uh, so, didn't have to pay a dime, which is cool. And those setups are usually, you know, pretty decent. I've had some great runs with uh, those setups, so. Um, to me, it feels like it's got some great turn in it. Much better turn than the fixed setup. Of course, it could all just be in my head. Who knows? But, uh... It seems a bit faster. I like it. We got a uh, 100 lap feature today. So that's going to be about an hour race, I think. You know, that's if we go green or something. It's you know going to be a little longer than that, but because you got a pit and all that. But uh, yeah, should be fun. A little bit longer, so you know I'm not going to do anything crazy from the start. Preserve myself. Wanted to qualify though, because track position is very important here, and I don't know if I wanted to be in the back behind some of the dangerous guys. Someone's got 6x already, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that means that uh, I guess they lost control and hit the wall in separate instances during practice or qualifying? Not that, though, huh? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh. Let me turn that up a little bit. I can't hear what they're saying. I think he just said nice lap to the leader or something. That's uh, just about 10 seconds left. wonder if I can catch what he said. 
No, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're about to go. P3. Fine with me. Hope the guys don't try to do anything too crazy right from the start. And we'll have the best view in the house of the pole sitter. Just gonna go ahead and set this on session last lap because we're gonna be you now preserving the car. Not trying to hit qualifying laps here. Just try to get uh, consistency down. We changed our Good luck, tape, which is great. Three sets of tires. Good to know. Might want to be careful how you use those. Hopefully it's not a uh, wreck fest or anything. I've gotten a little bit of both here at New Phoenix. Um, some races, lots of wrecks. Some races, you know, maybe there's a, a couple or something. But then we'll usually get a green, uh, green run in. So that's always nice. Hopefully we get the green run in. Good green flag run in this race. We'll see if uh, <laughs> the leader decides to go when you're kind of uh, meant to go. Past uh, turn, the final turn over there, or if they're gonna start going. Second gear start. They're going to go way early. They're waving. That's making me think they're going to try to do the juke. <laughs> Where they pretend they're warming up. But no, I think they're just genuinely warming up their tires. <sighs> I don't want to pass that guy because I'm afraid that... Uh, Gonna get a black flag. So I had to watch out for that. I think I'm gonna let them have that just so I can get in line. So I'm not pushing it quite yet. Go, drive it in there. And try to be smooth. Someone's already gone. I don't know how they managed to, uh, maybe they missed the start and they're like, oh, forget it. Because <laughs> I don't know how you uh, mess up so bad already without causing a caution to want to leave. <laughs> That's uh, beyond me. Gonna think about long run here. Think about uh, not hitting the wall like I think that guy just did up there. Either that or he had to w lift out real hard to make sure he didn't hit the wall. Not sure what's going on there. Ooh! <laughs> Go daddy car over there kind of cut him off a little bit. Don't really want to get up uh, beside him. I kind of just got there. Alright, if I remember right, the uh, rear tires actually started getting kind of skatey when I was doing the fixed race. But uh, that was uh, a couple days ago now, and I've done a lot of races in between, so I might be thinking of something else. So uh, we'll have to think about uh, how we're getting on the throttle. Don't want to get on it too hard because maybe that'll uh, make things slick later on. So easy in, easy out. All of the above. Got a nice little gap behind us, so no pressure. Not a huge gap, but enough to where I'm not worrying about a guy diving in on me or anything. And uh, we'll hopefully log some laps. We're green. Feels great. These guys seem to prefer that higher line. I'm 
wondering if that's uh, the way to go in terms of uh, saving tires or if the lower line will be better. Not sure. I don't have that info. Don't have that knowledge, experience, etc. It does feel like it gets pretty tight out of the corner here, so maybe that is what I want to do. Maybe I want to run another lane higher. That looked like they were maybe a bit loose there. Do a little cut. Now we'll uh, come up to this middle lane. Yeah, you get so much, uh, so much of a better run off there. I don't think that's going to be too hard on the tires, so we'll uh, we'll do some more of that. Thank you, session last lap. That's how I can know definitively whether uh, one way to take the corner or the other is uh, the way to go in terms of speed. And it really looked like that run off there got me lots of green. So sounds good to me. Not too concerned with keeping up with them at the moment. Because uh, if we push too hard, just trying to stay up with them, then uh, might just hurt ourselves. Passing is going to be very difficult as well, especially as the tires wear. Stayed too low this time. It's uh, good. Passing is going to be very difficult, like I said, so that's why I wanted to qualify, get that track position, one of the reasons. Cut the dog leg if I have to. Wish I couldn't, wish I had to go around some grass like the old format, but if I can get another couple tenths or uh, thousandths by going down there. Hey, that ends up. Of course, you don't want to dive it down there. If you're not completely sure, you're not going to get weirdly loose or something. If uh, I'm not feeling completely stable once I'm coming off that final corner, I'm not going to go for it. Because you don't want to spin yourself out trying to go for it. So whether I take it or not, it's kind of going to depend on how I uh, take this corner and uh, how stable I'm feeling from here. But right now, I'm feeling pretty decent, so I'm going to come on down here. And look at that. Got a couple thousands. Adds up. We're doing math here at Phoenix. Basic addition. I'm capable of that. Car's feeling great. Love this setup. Thank you again to OSR. Uh, OS Racing. I don't know, was it .NET or something? <laughs> People just putting free setups up there. Very kind of them. And no cautions yet. We might have to do green flag pit stops. Wouldn't that be something? Good thing I practiced. Of course, I uh, when I actually go in, I'm probably going to be on uh, tires that are much more worn than any of the times I went in and practice. So I'm going to have to take it a little lighter than uh, I did then. I have to be aware of what uh, my car is going to be capable of at that point. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's not that bad of a pit road, I don't think. That number three in the lead's got it kind of figured out, I think. They must uh, really either know this track or have a really good setup, or both. Probably both. But it's still early. 
Maybe they don't have long run speed. Maybe we'll find out. They seem to be keeping up just fine with these two guys. And I'm kind of going at, uh, I don't know, 85% yeah. right now. There's our first lap car, number 14. You. Let's see if they're uh, courteous. It sounds like they were to the leader at least. Yeah, they get plenty of room. Look at that. As I overdrive it. <laughs> thinking about them more than I think about how I'm taking the corner. So they'll stick it up there probably. And looky there. We can take uh, the corner as we want. Very good lap car. All you gotta do is hold your line, and preferably one that's not the fast groove. Wonder what happened to him. Wonder if he's just kind of cruising out here, or he got damage. Maybe related to that one guy. Oh, let me pay attention. I messed up that corner again. Um, maybe related to that one guy that disconnected early. Got my brake bias set back to about 54%. Might consider moving that back further, uh, depending on how it feels later on. But uh, I'm getting plenty of pull to the left under braking, so I don't have to turn the wheel as much, and I uh, can save those tires a bit more. So I'm happy with uh, how that's going. Trying to uh, have it turn under throttle as well. Both pedals very important here tonight at Phoenix. They're running uh, even a little bit higher than I am in this turn, I think. Nice two seconds behind us. Find up in fourth, that's cool with me. It's where I'm supposed to finish. I'd like to get more and I'm gonna try to get more, but wouldn't be disappointed with that. Especially if it goes all the way green. I'd be more upset with a bad finish if uh, it was because we got a wreck with like two to go and then we got a green white checkered and people are throwing punches. <laughs> that's less fun but uh, if I just do something wrong with my strategy or something and you know I end up back there because of uh, decisions that are all on me then you know that's fine that's what I got that's what I deserved not to say that uh, the green white checkers and all that aren't part of racing but Thank you. I'd just rather uh, if I'm gonna get a bad finish it's on my on my own merits So I'm still just kind of cruising, not doing anything too crazy. Got the nine car up here, coming up on. Might still be doing that a little hard. Just a touch, though. Let's see where we catch this nine. Huh. The uh, five reached him in a bad spot. Five was hoping to use that uh, high line, and that's where the nine was. So he's gonna. Is he gonna get out of the way for me? Yes, he is. Is? I was gonna say yes, he is, and then I was like, yes, he is, because he kind of was like the, a little close down to that bottom line, but. I think he was trying to get out of the way. Just made me nervous a little bit. Always uh, extra cautious. Doesn't hurt to be a little uh, extra cautious, especially this early in a long race. Though we uh, we are over a fourth of the way there already. Laps tick off fast here. They're only about 30 second laps. So, where's our fuel at? Six. 
5.5 gallons, he says. I think I can drive in that corner harder and probably get a better runoff and make some time up. It's just kind of scary. <laughs> Still feeling nice and stable though. Feel like I'm hitting consistent laps. Hey, that's what I just said. Oops, a little loose. Had to manage it the best I could there before it got too out of hand. We'll do that a tiny bit. I think we'll want to just go ahead and pit. Right around the halfway mark, I guess. I'm not too good with strategy. Haven't done too many of these open races overall. Definitely done a ton more fixed races. So, still not the best with strategy. Sorry. See my uh, <laughs> 87 Legends race to know how bad I am at strategy because I've messed up plenty of races on strategy there. Excuse me. Talking too much makes me hiccup, apparently. I do that in just about every video. Okay, we'll get uh, kind of that diamond almost kind of feeling there. I feel the car getting loose. Kind of just... Uh, Maintaining an even pace with these guys, really. They might uh, be getting away just a touch, but not too much. Still a solid two seconds or so behind us. No worries there. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, overdriving that corner. I need to back that up. So I think uh, I'll make better time if I do. It looked like he was staying high, now he's middle, now he's low. I prefer he'd make a decision so I know where he's gonna be. We haven't reached him yet. So we'll cut the dog leg to get around him. Fortunately, we'll be compromised on entry. We'll have to take the low line this time through. I'll get that runoff. So the leader having trouble with that lap traffic? Looked like he reached a kind of cluster of cars there. Might have been trouble for him. Drive it in there. Yeah. We'll see how much that... Uh, Lap car slowed me down if I get a decent run through here. Yeah, look at that. That lap car making me take that bottom lane lost me about almost two tenths. So if you can avoid that, that'd be great. But uh, everyone's got to deal with lap traffic. You just kind of got to hope that uh, you reach them in a good spot and uh, can navigate them as quick as you can, but as safely as you can. time. place that's scary oh man speaking of scary look at that 14 holy cow I don't know where this M&M's man is gonna be Go. 
goes, it goes high. Right on, dude. Good, good job. It's looking a bit squirrely, but uh, he, he took the high line for us. That's very cool. Still hitting these laps. Still feeling good. Car is uh, still feeling decent. I mean, obviously we're slower than our starting pace, but I don't think it's all that bad. Now this has gone green this whole time. So it makes me hope that uh, that means we're, we're going to continue being green. If you pit earlier, you can uh, maybe get some track position, which is important. But you could also get trapped a lap down if there's a caution that comes out. So that's a bit of a risk. Do we want to come in on about lap 45? I'll think about it. If the leader comes in early, I definitely will. I'll follow him down. Or, you know, any one of these guys, probably. Otherwise, I'll just be thinking about it. I don't think the uh, tires are wearing all that much that you're even going to have a huge advantage. So that might change my opinion a little bit. 11 is going from the top to the bottom, to the middle, killing my exit. Enter slow and low because he's out there. So that guy slowed us down a bit. If I wanted to, I feel like I could really sling it in this corner, but uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, because uh, I think that's just going to be dangerous for no reason, and I don't want to start experimenting, <laughs> really, at this moment. If we get into a case where, you know, we're running someone down later, maybe I see how far we can push it, but mm, I don't think right now is the time. I've pushed it a little bit already, this race, see how far I can take it. That's about as hard as I've pushed so far. And uh, you get that run off, you get that uh, gain uh, the start. I kind of messed it up a little bit there because I got a little loose, but. Seems okay. Meanwhile, we've kind of caught this guy. A little bit. Still uh, a couple car lengths ahead, but closer than we were. Where are they going? Are they pitting? Coming in early? They're looking to get a jump. Exited a little too low there. Lower than I wanted. So another thing that can happen too, another reason it's risky, even if we've gone green this far, is because pitting can be difficult. And uh, you could have a guy try to pit and spin out trying to do it. So... Your chances for yellow flags are higher when you're around your pit stop time. Gotta watch out for that. Three, alright. When do we come in? I think we might come in next lap. Hope that my uh, practice pays off. My pitting in practice. If there's going to be a caution, please do it now. I'll forever hold your peace. Took it a bit easy, but not too bad. We're going to take four tires. We're going to take fuel. And uh, hope we don't get a caution. I'm going to be in a little aggressive. Well, what 
does that mean for us? Box in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. We gotta just roll through, I think. There we go. I don't know what this means for us, I'll be honest. I don't think I could have uh, pit there or else I would have gone a lap down. I think I should have pit. I think I made a mistake here. Uh, I don't know. I gotta let this nine car by. So we're gonna get into the pits late. Man, come on, nine car. I gotta pit. Stinks. <laughs> let's go, man. Please, let's try to catch the field. Come on, man. We gotta get there before we start pitting. Alright, so it's essentially like we, um, the caution has come out. And we were in whatever fifth place instead of third, so not too different. I think that might have been an okay decision. Focus. I'm not great at pit stops. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Okay, we got our tires, we got our fuel. Come out first? I don't know what happened. We got people staying out, is that what I'm saying? I don't know. That looked a good stop. What's this? What are these guys? They pit already? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm not sure how that all sh shook out. I'm not experienced enough with these kind of races to know different situations that can happen. But whatever it is, we'll deal with it. Plenty of fuel to the end, so now we're going to just be worrying about tires. Okay. So I guess we're seventh. Sure. As long as we're not a lap down, I guess. I see guys with damage out here, like in first. Is that the leader, maybe? Maybe he doesn't have damage. Maybe it's my eye tricking me. Reflection's looking weird or something. So we're going to try to be somewhat patient because we're only just barely past halfway. Alright. Remember how to drive on uh, new tires? Not like that. Don't be like that, gentlemen. Don't be like that, gentlemen. Or lady. I don't know. 
girl. I didn't see whose name it was. John, you are a lap Huh. Well, that was interesting. No caution, they must have saved it. At least somewhat. So, we survived whatever that was. Is he gonna do it again? Is that the same guy that did it the other person? Trying to do it again? Looks like we're gonna methodically make our way back. I'd like to get these passes done soon. Because it is easier to make passes early on rather than later. Unfortunately, it is going to hurt our tires a bit. And uh, it's not all that easy. So unfortunately, our plan to uh, come in and get some track position did literally the opposite thing. Which is unfortunate. It's loose. That was dangerous having to come out here. I uh, try to outbreak him there and take the outside line so we can get a runoff. Okay. Well, got past him because he uh, got loose. Thankfully, he didn't kill us. And we're in fourth. That sounds familiar. I think we were... Were we in third or were we in fourth before? Don't... I think we are in fourth. Right? I think so. So we'll start doing this higher line off the start. Maybe that'll... burn off the uh, right rears a little more, because I started to get tight over that last run. Much rather be on the looser side. Loose is fast. Yeah, this blue car I'm following seems familiar. So I think this is where we were before. So we made it back. We just had to use a little bit of tire to do it, unfortunately. But it was fun. Got to pass uh, some guys. I think uh, it'll benefit me to be more aggressive on the throttle. Because I think if I'm more aggressive on the throttle, I get more loose. And uh, that sounds good. And if we push it too far, then I'll just have to deal with it. But want to try something. Try to get some speed. We got a caution. Could have had a full green race. That would have been cool. I don't get those very often. But uh, this is still great. Long green run. One more pit strategy. Would have uh, been interesting to see how it shook out. Love a good uh, strategy race. But that's just fine. <laughs> trying to push it, see if I can make up some ground on this guy. But, uh, gotta try to do that without going too far and hitting the wall or something. Send it in there. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this in the long run, aren't I? Well, we're 
a little bit closer. Firm grip on the steering wheel, counter steering on the exit of the corner. Try to prevent, uh, ooh, overdrove that, fortunately. I mean, I get a bad runoff. But, uh, counter steering, prevent that looseness. Just uh, going a little harder this round, see what we can do, but uh, I'm not sure it's really working. Got lap cars already. I'm not sure how they're so far behind on pace. It's like we're coming up on Rick Ware Racing or something. Like, uh, I guess we'll see if they have any damage when we go by. If I can even focus on anything other than not getting into them. <laughs> Heard I run off a little bit, but that's fine. Just take the dog leg a little bit extra. Loose. Modulate the throttle. Another lap car coming up. Another two, maybe. Yeah, 13 and the 14. Fighting hard for 12th. <laughs> Got out a little hard for uh, how low I was on the track. Scary. Clear. Make it by him. I think we got past those left cars a little quicker than the five was able to. Got stuck behind him a bit, so gained some ground. Man, nothing all that substantial, that's for sure. Feels like I'm scratching and clawing, oops, just to get every little tenth. That was just a little baby tap, I don't think that did anything. Just me trying to, uh, I don't know what I was trying to do, get the best runoff <laughs> as possible. Ooh, a little sideways on entry as I'm uh, entering the braking zone. That's good. I want the car to rotate. Send it in pretty hard there. How's that work out for us? <laughs> Not sure. I think I'm overdriving at this point, to be honest, but I'm just trying anything I can to see if I can gain any ground. I think we're both catching this one. That's interesting. Could just be that he's had a uh, bad lap or two, though. it a little higher. It's hard to get just right. That's more how I want to take that. And if I did get a little loose on exit, just kind of tried to drive through it. That's pretty good.
that five's there on that one. I'm driving the wheels off this thing now. Now I'm at 100%. That's what that's worth. Yeah, These guys are going to fight. Hopefully it'll bring me to them. Loose. But I'm fighting through it. Making sure I hit my marks in this corner because I think I can gain a lot if I do this right. Get on throttle real good. Sweating. Who is he going for the pass? See how well it works down there. Run off, they're fighting. Ah, oh, I hit the inside a little bit. I think we're fine. Uh, it kind of got me a weird angle. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Gonna lose a tiny bit there. I think I'm really wanting to take this high line up here. It's a fun track. It's really grown on me as I've kind of learned more about it. Is there a second lane? Oh, there might be. Did I just learn something? I am not interested in what this lap car is selling. Because I'm busy. Why is a lap car putting us three wide? Are you serious? Oh, ends up helping us because the one car decides to back out. But thanks, lap car, for inserting yourself into something you didn't need to be put into. I'm not giving you any room, dude. I mean, lap car thinks he's cool, I guess, because he's got better tires and he's faster than the leaders. I don't know. I don't know why you do that. But if you're going to pass me, freaking do it. Instead of wasting all my lap times. Going for it. Seven, if you're gonna pass me, can you do it? I'm trying to have a good finish here. Good lord. goes. He pit, after all that, is he pitting? He's just giving up. He got loose. Wow, that was all worth it, wasn't it, buddy? <sighs> they don't think. They don't think of the long term. <laughs> like, what are you going to do when you pass me? Wow, now I'm a lap down one spot ahead of a guy that is a lap ahead of me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is he going to 
run up there and get his lap back? I don't know. <sighs> but uh, that's some wasted time. See how far the five got away from us. <laughs> if we were going to be able to catch him and we come up short just by a tiny bit, that's going to be on the seven, as far as I'm concerned. Because I am driving my lights out here. more lap cars looking to spice things up I guess for flip's sake get out of the way man <laughs> alright everyone deals with it Every one of these guys has to get around lap cars. So, no point getting gripey about it. Even though that's what drivers are supposed to do. <laughs> Road rage. Look at all that time I lost last lap, though. Half a second. There's only three and a half ahead. Number five. Couple seconds. Ooh, I pitched a little bit more. Than maybe I wanted. Rear tires are definitely uh, a little more worn this time as as I pushed harder. I like it though. I think that was the right decision. Much rather be loose than tight, so I think that worked out pushing a little harder. I'm up to the challenge. Hold on to this thing. It's fun. I'm having a lot of fun. All right, new Phoenix, you got me. Good track. I should still plant some grass down on the dog leg, though. <laughs> Almost overdrove it. But look at this run we're getting. Risk versus reward. I think I need to calm it down though. I don't know if we're catching this guy. All I'm gonna do pushing too hard is get the wall and have the one catch me again. And there goes our podium. But it's just so fun taking that high line. Ugh, loose that whole corner. Dang it. All right already. I'll take it easy. Let them make a mistake, which I doubt will happen, but. At least uh, try to stay here. So if they do make that mistake, I'll, uh, I'll be here. And my hands hurt. I gotta stop gripping the wheel so hard. White knuckle racing. That's what they call it, right? Isn't that great race? I've really enjoyed this. These uh, low down force Xfinity cars are so much more fun than the uh, typical cup car. Though the cup race was pretty fun here too. Don't want to poo-poo that too much. They had the low down force 750 package, I think. That wasn't too bad. It's gonna just uh, hit my uh, hit my marks these last couple laps. Looks like we're uh, pretty uh, even on pace, both front and behind us. I just uh, had the thought that we could have a caution and I just about pooped myself because I thought I forgot that was a possibility. 
Oh, get this thing over with. Nobody crash, please. I absolutely forgot that that was a thing. I've done enough Arca to be able to blank the thought of caution laps out of my head. Oh god, a green-white check of going through that dog leg. Oh, white flag, please. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. Okay, you guys can wreck now. We're good. Bring it on home. Take the turn hard for no reason other than you just like taking risks. And that's that. P3 in a fun race. Sure, I get across the line first. Fun race, guys. Good win, number three. Good one, Drew. <laughs> yeah, three was really fast. I don't think anyone had any more. And her they just got it anywhere on the restart or no? Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, Jonathan got to uh, hit that one restart. He's usually pretty fast, so he could have been up here too. Yes, I believe Andrew did. Ooh, calling him out. <laughs> anyway, but... <sighs> All right. Started third, finished third, four car. We beat the number one guy, that's cool. I'm sure he's pretty fast, so it's a good thing to be able to say you did. I'll do the thing. Alright, I got my hand arrest. Oh, it's cramping so bad. Whew, and we'll get out there and look at the cautions. Or Rex, whatever. Excuse me. Oh, sec, the, uh, I don't know what it is, but the uh, volume gets so loud on replays. So, let's see. Check the game. What you doing, 13? Just barely tapping the wall. That's nothing. Six. Probably just tapping the wall. Yeah. Some more nothing. Two, trying to get past the seven. The seven's too low on the track. So. You might, no, I'm not gonna say mean things. <laughs> anyway, uh, eight's getting in the wall. I think that's uh, most of what we're just gonna see here because we only had the one caution and seems like everyone was racing pretty well. 13's making a habit out of it though. I like the color combination. They're kind of like teal and yellow and black. Not sure about the like design so much, personally. I like the colors. I think you could do something cool with that. Castrol's pretty classic. This guy's out here scuffing it up. <laughs> I hit the wall a couple times, I think. Once or twice. So, Who am I to speak? Six. Yeah, just a couple guys barely scraping it on uh, on the exit there. Got a hundred laps of wall touches <laughs> to go through apparently. And I think it's only going to ramp up on the longer runs because I think the longer runs, the more viable that higher line gets. And, uh, so you're going to get more guys hitting the wall like that. That was a that was a good drag of the wall. That was a a full one. Eminem sketches up to him a little bit. More the same. I think I'm just gonna kind of move through these a little quicker because don't uh, don't need to see them scratch the wall a hundred times. We get the idea. Here's something maybe. Ooh, well, it's a bit of a touch. I think that was a Lee Lep card trying to lap that guy. Now, these guys, I think, were both lap cars, probably about the same lap. We're getting close to whenever the caution happened, too. Right about halfway. Seven. Stops on the track. So is... <sighs> See the guy that brought up the caution? 
Sure is. So that was our caution. So seven not only slowed us down, but he was the caution. That kind of messed us up a little bit. Because look, there's us over here. Pit lane. He could have kept going. Or I guess his front got like, stuck on the wall. I don't know, weird. But uh, let's see when the caution comes out. So he's good all the way until he stops and then it comes out. You can see the light over there. So, <sighs> yeah, uh, I don't think he did it on purpose or anything. Like uh, sometimes guys will stop on purpose and then do a reverse kind of thing. But uh, I think he kind of like got weirdly stuck. Is this driver like nude? Is he not wearing a shirt? Gross. Get me out of here. <laughs> Uh, alright, so this is, uh, I think that's under caution. <laughs> He's trying to catch up to the field and overcooked it. Lap 53. Not sure what's going on there. I think that was also under caution still. Well, hits, we got everyone bunched up again. Oh, yeah, this is when the two got taken out. All right, so we could have ended up finishing fourth, maybe, if the two could have held on to that, but uh, he got hit there. Thankfully, uh, two saves it. Very nice save. But it uh, didn't turn out too well for him. He fell back to sixth in the end. So maybe he didn't have the pace to keep it up uh, on the long run anyway because he was a good 16 seconds back, but who knows what that did to his tires. Hard to say. Speaking of tires, I know some people might be curious. 77, 78. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of uh, how even that is. You know, ideally, you want those to be as even as possible, and I think that was... <laughs> something's going on here. Um, I think that was pretty good. I'm not usually very good at saving tires, so I'll take that. So 13 gets loose out of the corner, and then... Just kind of go straight? I don't know about that. He just goes straight. <laughs> now he's in the group, in the main line. Going real slow. At least it wasn't another caution. So, that's nice. But uh, he had some issues there. Seven cutting the dog leg. Gonna probably touch the wall out here. Eh, I, don't, I don't think he really did. I think that was just... Uh, Prediction code. Um, seven got the wall pretty hard on exit. Yeah, damaged his car a little bit. Wasn't as hard as I thought it was originally, though. Keep seeing this guy's last name, McCurry, and I think it says McFlurry. Eleven's trying to take that high side, but it goes in a little too hot. Ooh. Thirteen almost kills the fourteen. Oh, well, he's still heat-seeking him. Were they mad at each other here? Trying to cause caution? In their pointless little battle back here? <laughs> That's mean. In their, uh... Back-of-the-pack battle. See, I, mean, I guess maybe he's just trying to make an aggressive move, and, uh... The 14 sees it, and so they both overdrive the corner. I think maybe that's what happened there. And, uh, 14 bounces it off the wall, and so the 13 gets into him. Rough, uh, rough spot for the some of the lead and left guys to catch him too. That was probably pretty scary to see in front of them. Um, they're still battling incredibly hard for last. Getting into each other, racking up the 4Xs. 10 and 14. You know, they battled hard for no reason. Hurt their safety rating in the end. Probably. 14 forgets to break. And then now what? Nothing. Are we uh, stuck now? No, he's the inside wall. I'm always worried I'm going to do that because you want to try to cut that pretty close on entry if you're trying to trick, take that low line, but <laughs> it's kind of scary because it looks like it's coming right at you. So, more troubles. Six is getting loose. You know, man, he's having uh, trouble. There's a guy behind me, I believe. 
He looks like his uh, tire is about dead. But uh, that's uh, right about near the end of the race. 13 forgets to turn again. And the 9, unfortunately, was out there. I'm sure he didn't appreciate that. But uh, that's it. That's all for the rough and tumble out there. And uh, we got ourselves the podium. I'll be on the smallest step looking up at uh, the other two guys, but pretty uh, happy with that anyway. I'll take my bronze medal and go on home. And most importantly, the internet did not disconnect halfway through. So, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Very fun race to run, and I hope it was fun to watch as well. Um, fun time. Overall, like in New Phoenix. So, I'll see you next time.